हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ हीना मैडम फ्रॉम सेंट जोसेफ इंग्लिश मीडियम हाई स्कूल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ एथ स्टैंडर्ड फ्रॉम फिजिक्स पार्ट दैट इज फोर्स एंड प्रेशर इन क्लास सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड यू हैव लर्न हाउ ऑब्जेक्ट्स मूव एंड हाउ वी कैन कम टू नो दैट whether an object is moving faster than the other object and what is the distance moved by an object in unit time this is what the basic information we are having from 7th standard and in 8th standard we are going to discuss some more points about force and pressure so before we will start the main topic let us take some examples so the example is rolling of a ball if a ball is rolling on the ground slows down sometimes it may change its direction of motion so if you observe the ball which is rolling on the ground slows down after traveling a certain distance or else what will happen with the ball the ball may move more faster or the direction of ball may get change right so have you ever wondered what makes an object to slow down or move faster or the direction of motion of ball is getting change right you may get this all questions see you may think that what is the thing behind the ball which is making the ball to move faster or slow down or the direction of motion of ball is getting change so to understand this in a better way let us take some more examples so the examples like a goalkeeper saving a goal then the second example is a hockey player flicking a ball and the third example is a fielder stopping a ball so the first example is what a goalkeeper saving a goal and the second example is a hockey player flicking a ball and the third example is a fielder stopping a ball so here if you observe these three examples okay in one of the example the players are trying to stop the ball and in other example the players are trying to move the ball more faster and in a uh, one more example if you observe the direction of motion of ball is getting change right so again the question arises what is the thing behind the ball which is making the ball to slow down or move faster or the direction of motion of ball is getting change right so the answer for this is nothing but the force so the force is there which is acting behind the ball which is making the ball to slow down after traveling a certain distance or it may move the ball more faster or the direction of motion of ball is getting change so how we can define the force we can define it as a pushing or a pulling of an object is known as force so this is the proper definition for the force okay so if someone will ask you define force means how we can define it we can define it as a pushing or a pulling of an object is known as force so the examples for this actions like picking opening shutting kicking hitting lifting flicking pushing pulling etc so these are nothing but the examples for the force so now let us do one activity activity number 7.1 if you see here one table they have given in that table they have mentioned certain examples in each of the example we are moving the 
objects okay so what type of action we are doing to move the object so that action we have to choose it means what we have to choose the actions between push and pull or else both we can choose so let us solve this activity so if you see the first example moving a book placed on a table so to move a book which is placed on a table what we have to do we have to push the book or we have to pull the book right both the actions we can do with the book to move it on the table right so only i have written there yes on both the side yes for push and yes for pull okay now if you see the second example that is opening or shutting a door to open or to shut a door what we have to do we have to push it and as well as we have to pull it right so only i have written yes for push and yes for pull then now if you see the third example drawing a bucket of water from a well so see here to take out the water from a well what the thing we are doing actually first we are lifting the bucket then we are throwing it in the well okay then after that with the help of a rope we are pulling it outside right so this all the things we can't write in this table right so we have to choose the actions between push and pull so here the main action we are doing that is we are taking the bucket of water from the well with the help of a rope right we are pulling the rope then only the bucket is coming outside right so i have written yes for pull and no for push now if you see the fourth example a football player taking a penalty kick so see here the player have to move the ball in what way he has to push or pull the ball so only i have written yes on both the side now if you see the fifth example that is a cricket ball hit by a batsman okay to hit a ball what the player have to do he has to push or pull the ball okay both the actions here the player is doing so here also i have written yes on both the side yes for push and yes for pull now if we move towards the sixth example so the sixth example is moving a loaded cart so to move a loaded cart from one place to the another place what we have to do we have to push it okay if you pull it what will happen it will come back side right we have to push it so only it can move forward right so i have written yes on push side and no for pull now see the last example that is opening a drawer so if you observe the last example that is opening a drawer here to open the drawer we are pulling the drawer right then only the drawer will come outside now if you see the last example the last example is not same as the second example why it is so because here in the second example both the things we are doing with the door okay we are opening it and as well as we are shutting it right so only i have written yes for push and yes for pull for second example okay but in the last example we are opening the drawer okay we are not closing it again we are just opening the drawer so to open the drawer what we have to do we have to pull it then only we can open it right so i have written yes for pull and no for push so hope you have understood so this activity you have to write in your class works thank you everyone